Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Hey folks, today we have to talk about a big thing, that is, the world's most powerful supercomputer has been replaced with a new one. Did you know? This new supercomputer integrates 44,544MI300 chips, and its performance is awesome. Moreover, China's domestic supercomputers are also catching up and are expected to enter the top five. First of all, we have to understand what a supercomputer is. Simply put, Supercomputers are those computers with super performance and super speed, which can handle very complex and huge computing tasks. For example, weather forecasting, climate simulation, nuclear weapons research, gene sequencing, etc., all require supercomputers to help. So who is the new overlord this time? It is the El Capitan supercomputer located at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in the United States. This machine is supported by the MI300 chip provided by AMD and built by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. It has 11,136 nodes each of which is equipped with four MI300 chips, a total of 44,544 chips. This number makes people dizzy. So what can these more than 40,000 chips do? Simply put, it can give the El Capitan supercomputer super powerful computing power. It is said that its peak performance has reached 1.742 exaflops, which means that it can perform 1.742 trillion floating point operations per second. This number may not be very clear to ordinary people, but you just need to know that it is very fast and very powerful. So what is the use of this supercomputer? It is very useful. For example, it can help scientists better simulate and predict climate change and improve the accuracy of weather forecasts. It can also be used for nuclear weapons research to ensure the safety and reliability of national nuclear deterrents. It can also be used for gene sequencing and drug development promote the development of medicine and biotechnology, etc. In short, the emergence of this supercomputer will have a profound impact on human scientific and technological progress and social development. Of course, we can't just stare at American supercomputers. China's domestic supercomputers are also catching up. Did you know? In the latest list of the world's top 500 supercomputers, China's domestic supercomputers have achieved good results. Although it has not yet entered the top five, it has made great progress. In fact, China's domestic supercomputers have also been glorious in the past. For example, the two supercomputers, Shenwei Taihu Lite and Tianha 2A, have topped the list of the world's top 500 supercomputers many times. They represent China's strength and level in the field of supercomputers. Why did China's domestic supercomputers fail to maintain their lead later? There are many reasons. For example, rapid technological updates, insufficient capital investment, talent loss, etc. But these problems are now being gradually resolved. 
China has increased its investment and support in the field of supercomputers and cultivated a large number of excellent supercomputer talents and technical teams. I believe that in the near future, China's domestic supercomputers will surely rise again and create glory again. Speaking of this, I have to give you a popular science about what supercomputer chips are. Supercomputer chips are processor chips specifically used for supercomputers. They are different from ordinary computer chips. Supercomputer chips need to have ultra-high computing performance, ultra-strong stability and reliability, and ultra-low power consumption. The MI300 chip used in the El Capitan supercomputer is one of the largest AI chips produced by AMD. It has up to 13 chiplets, a new generation of cDNA3 architecture GPU, 24 Zen 4 CPU cores, and 8 HBM3 memories totaling 128 gigabytes. These advanced technologies and configurations make the MI300 chip one of the most advanced supercomputer chips in the world. Of course, the research and development and production of supercomputer chips is not an easy task. It requires a lot of manpower, material and financial resources, as well as advanced technology and process levels. But China has achieved good results in this regard. For example, the Shenhui processor is an important achievement of China in the field of supercomputer chips. It has been widely used in the Shenhui series of supercomputers and has achieved good performance and results. Finally, I want to say that although China's domestic supercomputers have not yet entered the top five in the world, we already have enough strength and potential to catch up and surpass. As long as we continue to increase investment and support, cultivate more outstanding talents and technical teams, strengthen international cooperation and exchanges, etc., I believe that in the near future, China's domestic supercomputers will rise again and create greater glory. Well, let's talk about this today. I hope you guys like this article. I also hope that everyone can pay more attention to and support China's domestic supercomputer business. See you next time.